Uh, okay, uh, I wanted to show this off. I bought, I bought this for like $60, so like seven pounds, a couple of US dollars. It's made by the guys who made Ride, which is a motorbike racing simulator that I've ummed and ahed about a few times buying. And uh, this was really cheap, and I thought, oh man, I like Ducati. Let's see how good slash bad it is, because normally a single brand racing game with cars, like the Ferrari or Porsche Challenge kind of style things, they're not normally that great. And I thought to myself, oh, I'll give it a test and see if it's LP worthy, and I was just laughing my ass off at the stupidity. Uh, just because the model's kind of goofy. It's an alright, it's actually fairly competent, it's just I've never played a motorbike racing game before now. This is the first. I'm tempted to almost do a series on look at the range, because people always think racing games, cars, maybe some spaceships when it's like um, Wipeout and stuff like that. Not many people think about motorcycles, and I always thought that was strange. Because honestly, they're quite a, it's quite a laugh. Um, and as a result, the uh, the choices, the range you can get for motorbike racing games. So you see, I've just tried it a few times here. It really hard locks you into choosing what bike you're going to be using at the beginning. You see at the bottom it says eligible bikes and there's one. So we got the Grand Sport Mariana or Desmo. Oh, let's, let's just do this one and that. I'm just going to show it. Oh, it's just loading. It's a strange one, I'll tell you that. You can't change the color of the bikes. They're all separate. So I have like it unlocked in the game, it was like, here's a Ducati monster in red, and then here's it in white, and it's a separate unit each time, which is very strange straight away. It feels like Forza, but the graphics are a little behind, but last time I played Forza, it was, what, like, Forza 7 on my guys, my guys, my friends, <laughs> my guy, uh, gaming PC, so it looked really good. This is pretty, it's not too bad. Oh, I gotta check my strap. <laughs> what was that, slow ass? Okay. Uh, it is kind of like I'm fighting a bunch of clones. It doesn't let you change your uh, attire, it changes it from bike to bike. 125cc. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> get around the corner. We'll get around the corner. French Riviera looks really nice. A bit polygonal, but you know. Oh, that draw distance actually is good. There we go. Go around the corner. I was like, first time I tried to pull a wheelie, I just came flying ass backwards off the bike. And you can do that in this game. I'll show it later. Of winning now. They just vanish, man. You go past them and they just lip out of the existence of the early levels. See, it's pretty competent. It's not bad. Um, you know, I can... Fuck. <laughs> I can never find, like, a... I, I haven't seen many competent motorbike racing sims or motorbike racing games in general. They don't exactly have the, the deluge that car racing games have. There's no real need for speed motorbike. There used to be Midnight Club had a little section for bikes, but like, I mean, that was a joke. Midnight, if you ever had Midnight Club 3, I had Dub Edition on the PSP, and geez, there was like four motorbikes and a couple of choppers that they put down as separate, but like, Everything drove like shit. <laughs> I never really drove like shit on the PSP. Trying to control everything and navigate shit with a fucking nub on me. And I mean the first PSP, not the Vita or anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh, 
So you crash once and you're fucked, which is like, yeah, to be fair. <laughs> the only reason my guy's alive is because he's a computer guy. Smash into the wall with a flip on his head. Go wide, what am I doing? So I did one of these races on the 125cc and I was like, yeah, I get it, I know what I'm doing, I understand. Immediately after that. Oh, you can change traction control. <laughs> look, look at the little bit of the bottom. I can just turn tra traction control on and put it on low if I want. I had it on off, and that's probably why I was wiping out like crazy, but that's... I'm still a bit of a bike noob, so forgive me if I'm like, what? Do you want traction control on a bike? Is that just basically steering assist? If I put it on high, does it do that Forza thing where you just, it does it all for you and you just hold down and accelerate and it follows the racing line? I mean, we'll try something a little bit stronger soon. I was sat here playing it last night and I was like, this is actually not bad, you know? Anything than to actually play the fucking Akami playthrough, am I right? <laughs> My cat's just looking at it like, play Akami, you bitch. There we go, time up that corner. I didn't mount the curb this time. Oh, I didn't mount the curb on this one, so fuck it. There we go. Oh, nitty. <laughs> just flop downwards. This guy has got excellent poise considering how badly I'm breathing. So it's got a separate, it's got a rear brake and a front brake button. So that's, that's pretty good. And yeah, I can take it off of um, auto and start doing manual as well, and especially at this early level it's not particularly hard. Standard shit. You can change the physics so it's like pro or standard. It's got a few settings. You can change the guy's stance, like his riding stance and stuff. Uh, and go into minutiae on that. Um, but I honestly didn't know. Like, it's like when you boot up Tony Hawk and they're like, are you goofy footed? And I said, dude, I have never stood on a skateboard and not fall over, fall an ass over tit on it. And what I know. <laughs> And you see at the bottom left, we got rewinds. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I did it. I only fell off once. It's better than most of my uh, mod one attempts. Uh, if you're me, you go, you go and try and do your mod one in the UK, and then you kind of fail two or three times, and then you go, Hey, you know what, I'm just going to go live in Asia, Asia anyway, where they just let you get on a bike. It's fine, i got some experience. <laughs> Nearly died three or four times in Nepal, driving with that, um, driving a Royal Enfield. He drove it off a cliff and he got hit by a bus, drove it into oncoming traffic, because that's what everyone else was doing. <laughs> like, I was trying to turn right on a main road and they drive on the left in Nepal. And like everyone else is just pulling out and indicating, and I try it, and then they're suddenly, suddenly, <laughs> not allowed to do that. Fucking hell. Satan is watching over me. North Wales. Phantom. French Riviera again. A championship. Uh. Lozano. Seven fifty, nine hundred or five hundred. Okay, um, Stelvio. I'm gonna regret this. I think mean, I tried this and I wiped out on every corner. So we're gonna try the five hundred Panta. Is that Santa when he's only in his pants? You want to get in Santa's pants with Panta? Some nice bikes in this actually. There's quite a good range of Ducatis. More Ducatis than I know, because I, I'm a noob. 
but like I was going for it like, oh, this is nice. You know, it's, it's nice for like 60 Hong Kong dollars. It's doable, it's doable, it's doable. Long ass loading times. And every menu, every menu is like, wait, wait, and you're thinking, really, for this level? This level of graphics? And you're like, wait a second. But I'll tell you right now, when I played the uh, Drive Club or the other one, one of them is, I don't think it was Drive Club, I think it was the other one. Not, I'm not going to remember now. And it's like one of the Forza competitors, and I was like, this looks like shit on my PS4. Maybe it's the TV I'm using, but it just looks like crap. Oh. Well, they're on the 900, so... <laughs> That's John's. You're going bigger. <laughs> that just wrecked my <laughs> You see my guy just a ragdoll across the room. <laughs> they're like, well... That's what happens when... Didn't disrupt the AI's pathing, I noticed. They just be like, oh well, fuck him, I guess. No, don't keep smashing into the back of them. They don't care. They're soulless machines. <laughs> Look at this guy getting up in my asshole. Look at this! Look at this! Back off, you fucking twat! Oh, the. Mmm! Oh no. I'm getting around the corner, but I'm getting, I'm getting, oh, back one out. <laughs> there. Mm. Oh, I'm jiggling. I'm grooving. We can do it, we can do it. Take this, Italy. They weren't ready. They weren't ready for this front end weave. Ooh. Anyway, yeah, let's get around Santos. Take that, Santos. Oh, don't take that. Oh. Oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> I, just, I just wrecked another guy. Look at him just causing a pile up. Fuck you now. Burnout motorcycles. And yeah, I did play the Paradise Bikes mod, and I'm disappointed. Well, I mean, they can't show a guy ragdolling like crazy, but apparently this game can. That was actually pretty good fun, that Burnout. Uh, bike mod. I think it was free. Uh, maybe this is why I failed my mod one. <laughs> Look at them mountains. Pretty mountains. Let's all go live in Italy. Maybe not right now, but like, later. Ooh. One of my mates said he wanted to go watch the TT in Isle of Man. And then I think he said something about he wanted to go in for it on the amateur stage. And I was like, dude, people fucking die on those. And it's like this, where it's just like, you just hit a rock wall that's literally built out of the tiny rocks. And you're just like, there's nothing stopping you from hitting that wall. And as you can see, it's just a slight weave where you come out of the corner fucked up. And it's just like, oh, well, I'm dead. I always say to people, man, the thing about bikes is you are the crumple zone. There's nothing else that's going to crumple on a bike. Maybe bits of carbon fiber will come off of like a sport bike, but like most of the frame is just going to stay exactly the way it was. It's doing a CBT with one guy. He said, where's the reverse? <laughs> it's like, dude, you are the reverse. Get off the bike and turn it around. <laughs> Wait, it's the reverse. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh that, that really fucked me up. Oh, I was surprised it didn't come off on that. Sparks flying and all sorts of. Oh, oh. We, we're cool, we're cool. We're ninth. But it's better than dead. I think I killed some people. <laughs> I think it's, it's like Wipeout. <laughs> the number on the right. The 16 just starts going down, and then the police start coming because I'm just wrecking other people by accident. Start pulling a pipe out of this, swinging at people as I go by. Oh, look at this! Oh! 
This guy, AI gives zero fucks. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't pull a sick weedy. Not right now. It's probably a bad idea anyway. I'm just going to end up in last or dead again. Seriously, this is a white ass pack if I'm only eight and I can't see anyone. Oh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Carnage is happening! Oh, and he clipped through me there. He's, this AI doesn't give a fuck, it just drives by you and just felt like he just put a fucking twig in my spokes as I went by. Yeah, get out of the way, bish. Oh, you bish. This is, this is hype. <laughs> like, I'm having fun on this. Full LP! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, I'm losing it. It's big brain time. I'm tenth. That death only cost me a few places. Perhaps this is why there aren't many motorbike racing simulators, because people just aren't ready. Like all these car nerds going, eh. Yeah. Amount of guys that say to me, oh, I've always wanted to learn a geared bike and I've always wanted to get into biking. How's it different from a car? It's like basically everything. <laughs> if you stop on a turn in a car, you're going to look like a twat. If you're going around a sharp turn and you're basically stopping it in first gear. But like, um, you're not going to just suddenly roll out of your car, are you? And just land on the ground like, oh wow, I'm an idiot. Like on a bike, if you stop on a turn for some reason, going so slow, you're just going to roll off the bike and the bike's going to fall, because, you know, central fuel force. That's why slow maneuvers on bikes are the things they test you on, and it's why it's one of the hardest things to do on the bike, because it's like slow, you've got to keep power going, and it's like certain speed and momentum has to be kept going, and the heavier the bike, the harder it is to keep that bike from He's like, no, I killed too many that time. Damn it. <laughs> Burning wheels. The fires that I left behind me shall light the way. Well, maybe we'll try another one and we'll try a 750 or the 900 there. That was quite a laugh. It's a, it's a short ass game, so I could almost, like, you know full LP, but I wonder if at the high end I'm going to start swearing at the AI, because I reckon if they're bad now, <laughs> you can imagine when you're on one of those, for example, the box art, 12, 12.99 Panigale, and you're just trying to go around and they're just like, trying to like deck you on every corner. Load times though, the load times. Okay, so that was that. Train Nevada. These are all like early, so I'm gonna try the Panther. And like every time you open a new, like it's not the progression on the bikes is weird. You open a new group on the bikes, and it just gives you every bike. It seems like it just goes boom, 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 boom. Like, you do one race on beginner and it goes, okay, here's every 1970s bike. You're not having to up, you're not having to unlock them separately based on progression. It's like, here's all the races, here are all the bikes. So it's pretty good, it's pretty straight. You, you go in in there and it's just bam, bam, bam. You're not like, uh, you're not like sitting there going, which bike should I unlock? Oh, I unlocked the wrong bike. Now this is going to be really fucking hard. You know, it's like, um, they just let you have all of them. But it's era based, so if you wanted the. If you're like, oh, I bought this Ducati game because I want to get the latest Ducatis, you kind of have to, like, unless you're going to do quick mode, you kind of have to go through eras of bikes you may or may not be interested in, depending on your interest in historic or classical vintage. I mean, these are pretty neat. I wonder how much these kind of bikes would cost nowadays as like a working example. Okay, this is smoother. It's making less noise. It's 
well, which is actually confusing me. So long, fuckers! No, I hit a corner and immediately like eat shit. Oh, oh, didn't break enough. There we go. It's coming out from underneath of me. It's falling away from me. <laughs> there we go. That's the ticket. Now you're cooking with gas. Ooh. Oh, this one feels like it's fighting you a little bit. It's fighting you. I mean, I put traction control on low. When I first tried to drive this bike, and it is like fighting me even on low traction control. On like off, it's just sliding out from underneath you every five seconds. <laughs> there we go. Not today, death. Ooh, that was that was jerky. That was jerky. That was beef jerky. That was built on. A little bit built on. Yeah, but no, no, it's fine. Brakes are sturdy enough. Handle my bullshit. <laughs> there we go. I like trees. They kind of look like Skyrim trees. Well, that's depressing. They're almost better than Skyrim's trees. Oh, and these smash my head into the metal. <laughs> I live. Three more laps. Everything is three laps. I forget what the rewind button is and I repeatedly forget to use it, so I might just turn that off later. If it's like Forza, it may give me more, but like they don't give you money or XP, they just give you like medals. And they're like free medals if you win, if you're second two, if you're third one, and they just unlock the next era of progression. You're not really like I don't know how changing the uh, stuff, how that would benefit you in terms of in-game rewards. It's just for your own, for your own like sake. You know, if you want to be as realistic as possible. Oh shit! There we go. One of my mates, he has a like force feedback uh, wheel and pedals and a shifter, and we put it all on simulation for. Um, Dirt 4 and Forts of 7, like I mentioned, or something like that. Uh, is it 7? 6, I can't remember. And, um, yeah, like, when you put everything on Simulator and you've got the actual, like, peripherals and stuff, it's... Dirt 4 was hard, because <laughs> guess what? Rallying in semi-simulator -simul -sim levels is a bit like, oh my god, everything's shaking. It's pretty hard. I played it with a controller recently on my PS4, Dirt 4, and it's much easier if you're just being casual with it, but, like, obviously... Oh, fuck! <laughs> yeah, that was not... I overcooked that. I'm gonna lose my position after all this time. Look at that lead just eaten away by my stupidity. Okay, final lap. <clears throat> final lap pipe. Just hold it together for five seconds. You didn't hold it together. Shit, shit, shit. Shit! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, that was gonna happen. Didn't break at all for that corner, really. Tried to just break it all in the turn there, and it didn't like it. I might just hold it to get to the end of this lap. I was gonna have to do it all again. Okay, how to break? There we go. There we go. There we don't go. There we go. No, there we go. No. <laughs> we made it. We made it, everyone. Enough gurning was made. Okay, okay, okay. And slow it 
down. There we go. <laughs> the corner was getting close. Pretty simple. Seems like there's a couple of tracks and then a couple of bikes, and it's basically like go do it on the new bikes. And just, you know, until you get to basically the end of the game, and it's like, well done, you drove the bikes around the track. It's pretty like open and shut. So, um, I'll probably just occasionally LP this. No, oh, not the last corner. Fuck. Oh, wrestle it around the corner. There we go. Oh, no, I straightened up too quickly. There we go. Too long there. Oh. oh no. No 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 there we go. <laughs> we made it everyone. That guy's tired, he's like, oh my god. Got some points. They may make prizes. Yeah they did. Welcome to the eighties. So we can we can play some. We can play some uh, 80s. We can check out an 80s bike just quickly, and then we'll probably call it there for the day. Ah, it's pretty interesting. We'll see. Full LP. Occasional LP. I doubt you want to see every track and every bike. I mean, it's cheap if you want to do that. Ooh, we have the 750. Okay. Just those? Okay. I like the 851 though. We got the 90s, 2K, modern era, and. The Great Victories. Oh, that'd be like the racing bike, I guess. The racing bike. It shows you this like the old presentation that's like of all the bikes each time. Okay, I'm not gonna do a championship for this. Road America, Wales, Canto. I mean, we haven't done Canto. We haven't done Road America, and we haven't done Almeria. Let's try Canto. See what it gives us. Okay, 750 Paso. Let's just try it. And it gives you like a little the flavor text here is just telling you about it. The engine and like why it was built and how its reception was and if it won any races, if it was designed for winning races. History lessons. You always look so nervous, my guy, but can you blame him? Bad. I was trying to pull a sick wheelie and it did nothing. Okay, okay. Feeling it, feeling it. Probably wasn't tough, and probably just bad at it. <laughs> Immediately did it again. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, a lot of corners on this. A lot of corners. A lot of corners. <laughs> I don't do corners, I do go down, go down road straight. Bamboo is kind of causing like 
weird visual effect there. The sky is always pure blue and it's really disconcerting. It just feels like it's like, you know, and like it, everything just feels a bit too surgical. You can tell it's a video game, you know? Like the grass is too like uniform. Everything just sticks out from everything. It's not great track side effects. Oh no, somehow I'm alive. Oh, I'm dead. Murdered. Uh, I'm probably not going to win this one. No one, not with that kind of attitude. Ugh. Feeding out the track. First time. First time. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, no. Should have held, held that brake a little bit more. Got greedy. <laughs> Off of other drivers, you get pissed. Oh, broke too early. Broke too early. Oh, one time I hit the rumble strip at an odd angle and went flying. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Feeling it a bit more now. I say, I'm probably gonna crash. This is a long lap, and there's still three of them. Maybe Japan is just this weirdly crisp and alien, <laughs> and all their trees are like very uniform, conservative trees. Oh! Yeah, I felt the vibration, and then I was like, oh, wow, well, that's me. No, 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 that's... There we go. Round the corner. No! That's the wall. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> Yeah! Oh, no. <laughs> Try again. Yeah! Okay, it goes. Uh, it was too far back. It was too far back. Oh, I just fucked myself. Well done. You played yourself. Uh, the uncanny forest it is. Bamboo gives me epilepsy. Maybe it's just this bamboo. Did you know the reason that, like, there's a lot of folklore about, um, demons in Japanese, uh, lore being from bamboo, living in bamboo forests is because bamboo grows so rapidly that the sound of it growing at night is audible. Oh, shit, 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 yeah. Uh, and it makes a screeching sound at night of it, like, coming out of the dirt. And like you know, stretching or growing, <laughs> stretching, uh, and like um, they used to think that was the noise of ghosts and stuff and demons and whatnot. It turned out that it's just that bamboo makes a horrific noise when it's growing because it grows so rapidly. Fun fact: so I'm not going to win this race, so I might as well entertain people somehow. See him in the distance. Should have braked harder. Oh, and then he came off there. Felt it. Felt it shake. Oh, and then he knocked my head off. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Exactly why you don't just jump on a high CC bike and just hope for the best. There we go. Going around the corners jerky is just not a good idea. I 
Shit. Gotta be more flowing. You can't be like when you're driving a car and you're just like, oh, look, the corner, I'll break at the last moment and hope for the best. You gotta like be prepared a little bit more. So I fucked that one. Oh, I fucked that hard. Oh, there we go. That is a miracle, man. This game is just trying to allow me to complete the race, I think, at this point. I'm getting it. I say as I knew. There we go. We got that. Left that too late. Left that too late. Left that. Oh, that's a hairpin. Cut in too early. It's okay. We're here now. My cat's trying to throw things off the table for attention to distract me. He just wants me to die. I'm a mean cat. Okay, uh. Oh. Oh, 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 that was a bad one. I can do it. I can do it. I can almost do it. I can drive the bikes in Mario Kart. <laughs> I cannot drive a bike. Oh, this is lowering my real life confidence on a motorcycle. <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> Sweaty, palms are sweaty, mom's spaghetti. Oh, oh, oh! Don't know what happened there. Just clipped something, I think. But we can finish, and that's what matters, right? There are no winners anymore. It's like a kid's sports day, right? We're all winners here. Man, they do not do that in China, man. <laughs> you know, the whole, everyone's a winner here. Don't cherish success. No, don't, don't praise hard work. No, they straight up go, no, my kid's better than you. He got first place. Ha <laughs> ha suck it. <laughs> you know, highly competitive in Asia. Highly competitive. My kid's a doctor, but he's two. He's a doctor. <laughs> will be a doctor, otherwise he's going to get glory killed. Doctor and tear until it is done. <laughs> Doesn't even fucking make sense. <laughs> okay. Because that was such a flop. And go back to the 1970s. I haven't tried Wales. I haven't tried Wales yet. Oh no, that's got the same. Okay. I want to try uh, the ones I didn't try. Let's do this one. Full Smile 750S. Yes. Just, I mean, like, this is all an education to me. I'm not really up to date with classic Ducatis because I always just went, oh, those things that are always going to be too expensive for me to purchase. Great. Glad that they exist. Modern Ducati, maybe one day. Classic ones, forget about it, especially in China. You know, in China, it's like over a set amount of years old, they straight up won't let you drive it on their roads anymore. So it's like 1970s or older now, uh, as of late. It's just like, fuck you, it can't be licensed. <coughs> so that sucks if you're a classics guy. And also they've got a really anti-modification kind of attitude where literally anything you do to the bike or the car 
you got to submit a document to the DMV over here and say, right, it's been modified and update them. And if you don't, you're in trouble. And if you do, and they decide not to accept it for whatever reason. <laughs> No, oh, that was my fault. I really drove into that other guy. Um, oh, this is not going to go much better. What am I doing? At least he got up. <laughs> like, if you fuck up a corner on a bike, that's it, you fucked up the corner on the bike. It's like, you, you know, you can't slow it right down and go, right, I fucked the corner, let's just wheel it round then, I guess, in like one mile an hour, because I took the corner fucked up there, it's so coming off the bike. <laughs> they don't like gravel traps. <laughs> oh, this is worse than I was doing before, okay. Um, There we go, go around the corner. This is going to lot of off-screen practice, <laughs> I think. Uh, uh. Come back, we go there. Uh. No. No bad. No bad. Oh, I made it. Teaching me a lot about how I'm bad at car racing games because I just slam on the brakes and go, right, we're going to just try and bully it around this corner. caught up. I caught up after some really bad crashes in the first lap there, so it's doable. Uh, let me get around this corner before I bring my thoughts. Uh, I was gonna... <laughs> oh my god, I nearly fucking lost it there. <laughs> Uh, roll that back later and look at that. That guy is flipping his legs around like, what the fuck? The guy possessing me is terrible. Why have I been possessed by the worst driver to known to man? The sole contributor to insurance premiums. Globally. Oh, 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 no! Fuck! <laughs> I fell in the sand, it's fine. All that progress, man. One corner. Who will win? Oh. Come on, there we go. There's the brakes. I found them. Shit, every time this corner. Oh, bike ran me over. Oh. <laughs> I see why they give you nine rewinds, but I'm still not using them. I'm not a Time Lord in real life. This is my driving lesson. Too white, too white, too white. Regularly get round corner. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh, ball, ball. There we go. Oh, 
There we go. Round, 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 round. There we go. Yay, I'm not last. Take that choice. Suck it. <laughs> and Larson. O'Connor. Just so you know, these identical clones are all from different national backgrounds. Hard to tell with the helmets on. And you know, the fact that they're identical in every way. Everyone's represented in the clone force. Cut the corner. Now you're lost again. Oh! <laughs> that wasn't actually deliberate. Oh. Wow. Full LP. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe when I've gotten better and I've worked out how how physics works. I never passed physics. Valid time. Valid time. It was that bad. Oh, because I crashed and bunch just wasn't clean, I guess. Okay, so like I'll uh, I'll show some of the bikes off. There's a good range here. They're obviously all Ducati. This is a Ducati game. But you got a good range. You got a good range. Some nice stuff here. A load of stuff I don't really like. I was just like, oh, I like Ducatis. Let's let's just have a look here. And uh, that was my thought process. And that was it. So, yeah. <laughs> let's have a little. Let's have a little peep. We obviously got well, stuff from every era. Although it's like. The beginning, then they're all like late 1950s models, and then it's like the 70s. It's like, what happened in the 60s? Nothing. My bikes. So, yeah, you got the, oh, the 1972. They give you the monster. And see what I mean? It's just like, it's the same bike, but why, why wouldn't you just. whatever. Uh, Desmo, Super Sport, Panther. F1 racing here. We haven't tried that one yet. Tried the Paso. See, these are all 80s and it's D, C, and B. So they can't even put them in the same race because I think it would just be too, like, gross. And... Yeah, you know what I mean. See here, like, C. And there's, like, a couple of Ds there. <coughs> so, um... <coughs> Let's see if I can, uh mode quick race I mean we could just try one with something a little more <clears throat> so these are just the ones I have unlocked right now but you can go on the loan screen if you just want to uh, so you got the Panigale there Casey Stoner and he lets you test out a few one from each thing by the look of it we got the 999R for the Panigale. So this, this just, as I was struggling so much with like class E and D and C, let's just jump to S because that's a good idea. Uh, I guess these are all the tracks in the game. Dino Ferrari, Donington Park. Let's just do Donington Park. I mean, I'm not really saying simple. Let's just... Just to show this mode off, I should be getting off of it, really. Doing some more important stuff in my day. But, like, uh, you know, I haven't, I haven't been had much of a chance to play games recently because of the shake-up lately with businesses trying to reopen and, like, leaving one job and starting another. Because I'm, I'm that guy who goes, Oh, look! A massive epidemic happens. Perfect time to change my job. But like, you know, I think a lot of people have been laid off and stuff, so they didn't have a choice. Mine was voluntary, because I was just like, fuck my current job. Um, 
<clears throat> you know when you have an awkward conversation with your uh, with the teacher that was working with you every day, who's like, "Oh, you're leaving." Oh, and I'm like, yeah, and she's like, why? And you can't really say, oh, it's because, you know, the real reason. You don't want to sit there just bitching at her, so you're just kind of like, oh, you know, I got another job and they pay me more. <gasps> Great start, guys. I actually went into the Ducati garage in the nearest one to me in China. And ask them, how much are these bikes? How much is a Panigale? How much is a Monster 696? Just, just out of interest. I know they're out of my price range, but I always ask just so I know how out of my price range they are and how reasonable or unreasonable it would be for me to even consider the chance of me ever getting one. And one of these is like, I forget how much he said. The monster was like 250 to 320,000, depending on what extras you had. Oh, no, this is just, this is just not. <laughs> it's just pulling out. There we go, let's put it on medium. <laughs> Save me, traction control. Please. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like pulling out like fuck you <laughs> like you know, just like oh god this bike wants to kill me and all my family this bike is like heroin man <laughs> like no <nah, I'm> fucking <laughs> it's fun but it's like it's like the Mercedes AMG Black Series it's just like trying to pull out the whole time, <laughs> you know, when you're playing them on the simulators. There's always the AMG Black Series and stuff that are just pulling the whole time, like, fuck you, I want you to not pull me around this corner. Oh, I'm laughing too much at this. It's because the guy kind of quops all over the place whenever he crashes. Which, I mean, fair. Ooh! Yeah, uh, a Panigale is, let's just say, over 300,000 uh, RMB. Uh, which sounds like a lot, because it is. Uh, normally, just divide it by 10, roughly, to get pounds and, like, add a little bit. So over 30,000 pounds for a Ducati like this, easily. Let's put it on high, let's see what... Will even that save me? It really wants me dead. It really wants me dead. Oh, uh, if you feed it grass, it's really going to want me dead. This guy spends more time on the ground than he does in the bike seat because of me. Poor bastard. Stop, he's already dead. I'm loving it, but I'm also kind of frustrated at myself the whole time because I'm just like, mmm, that's not good. Come on. Round the corner, nice and ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so hard! Even if I had the money, this would be me driving one of these things. One of these high end Ducatis, or any Ducati, to be honest. It's all about confidence, man. You got a, it's like a horse. You can't show fear. It's like, oh, what the fuck was that? My leg. <laughs> he fucked my leg. 
Oh man, this game's so much fun even if you are binning it the whole time. So yeah, Ducatis in China are really expensive because of all of the import taxes you have to pay on them, so... Not a reasonable first bike anyway. You will die if you try and drive one of these things as your first bike. I mean, like... Oh man, I got so many stories, but we're gonna save them for the next LP. So we'll just leave it there.